Father, we give you praise. Yeah. Amen. You know, we, 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 we are raising prophetic voices. Come here, baby. Come here, my baby. We are raising also prophetic voices, and I'm so happy for this young man, Mike, you know, the other day, I, I saw something inside you, and I thank God for that thing that God is birthing in your spirit, something bigger than you can handle, something you don't even understand, you know. I promise this house at a given time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to raise prophetic voices here, so I need to raise prophetic voices. Honey, what, what, what do you want to say? What do you see? What do you want to say? Mom, God keeps on saying, there's a man watching through the internet. There's a tumor on the left side of his brain. And as we prayed for him, he cannot be here. Speak it, speak it. And he won't get in touch with us. He's a man. And we rebuke the tumor in your brain in Jesus' name. Remove it in the name of Jesus. Be healed instantly in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. There's a Stephanie in the house, mom. There's a Stephanie in the house. Stephanie, Stephanie, you stepped out already. You don't have to come again. But I saw the stream, streams coming under from the house. And Stephanie was among the people receiving that miracle. I saw her business going to Uganda and Rwanda. There are new streams of freshness that this house is going to experience. And as long as people stretch their hands with faith, we're going to tap into that in Jesus' name. We bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I must say this in obedience to the Holy Spirit. Muheshimiwa, God says, it was not a downfall. It's a promotion coming. There's a position coming. There's a position coming. You don't have to compete with anybody. It's coming. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, put your hands together. Give God a praise in the house. Father, we thank you. Bless you. Those of you watching on the your stream, you've already been ministered. You send us your messages. Send us your testimonies. Amen. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. Stephanie, my goodness, Stephanie, Uganda, Rwanda. If I were you, I would just write it in capital. Yes. I, I, I I'll write it down in capital. You know, you, you, you know sometimes it, it's so amazing when you step into the river of God. Is it okay before you receive an offering for me to give you a testimony? Jenny, to build your faith. Ushuda? You know, one, one, one time I, I, uh, when we were in the tent, a man came to the service. He had been in Nairobi Hospital for six months. And the man was dying of cancer. His body was totally wasted. He couldn't stand. They sold their businesses on, on the main streets of the city of Nairobi so that they could fund the hospital bills. And I remember that particular day, I didn't lay hands on him, that one of the ministers laid hands on him. But I had called him by the word of knowledge. And I remember after the service, his wife said, we want you to speak a blessing because we are going to India. Just for a, just for a, to hear, just, just, just to give it a try. The man, you looked at the man who is going to India and you are saying, dear God, Suddenly, I could tell the man was not in a position to travel. 
Mimi nilikuwa katika ile sehemu na nilikuwa ninatambua yule jamaa hangeweza hata kusafiri. Can you imagine the most ridiculous question I ask him? Did you ever take your wife for honeymoon? Unajua ile neno ambalo nilimuuliza je umewahi kumpeleka mke wako katika fungati? He said no. Akaniambia mala. I think this is I said told him this is it now. Akaniambia sasa hii ndio ambayo inampeleka fungati. Take her to India for honeymoon as the doctors there confirm that you have no cancer. Wakati ambapo nampeleka pale ni kwa sababu ya fungati, wakati ambapo daktari wanadhibitisha kuwa hauna saratani. The man goes to India. Yule jamaa akaenda pale India. There is no trace of cancer in his body. Hauna ishara yote katika God has totally healed him. Mungu akamfonya punde. The testimony was this. Na ushuhuda ulikuwa huu. When they came back they asked me. Wakati ambapo walirejea wakaniuliza. What would you advise us to do? We sold every business. We sold out everything we ever had. Ungetushauri tufanye nini kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeuza chochote kile ambacho tulikuwa tumekimiliki? They to say that I told them. Kile ambacho niliwaambia hit the road and head to Mombasa right now you have businesses in Mombasa Chukweni barabara mwelekea Mombasa ni kwa sababu una biashara pale Mombasa So there are my partners right now in Mombasa Na hao ni waenza wangu katika pale Mombasa And they came to me in a service Wakaja katika ibada with some of my team members wakiwa na watu wengine And they say thank you mom for making us wealth Na wakaniambia ni asante mom ni kwa sababu ya kutufanya kuwa matajiri and I said, what are you talking about? I have no idea. They said, no, you sent us to Mombasa. I said, that was very unfair. They do not know anybody in Mombasa. They have no contact in Mombasa. They landed in Mombasa, got out of the bus and started looking around. Somebody greeted them and said, Oh, can you can you just come to my house? The person inviting them had no idea they didn't have a place to stay. Tell your neighbor there is a miracle on the way. Oh, there is a miracle on the way. When God wants to bless you. Today that gentleman is so prospered. He is on top with furnitures in the whole of coast. And I remember, you know, you know, you, I saw bones in the tent, but now I see a huge gentleman. Oh, we need to do is have faith in God. Believe in God, the God of the supernatural, the God of miracles.